Okay, so another interesting uh, the desktop environment I want to look at is the GNU step desktop. The GNU step desktop environment basically has its roots still in the Unix days and it gives one a next open step kind of experience uh, that one can try out in a more modern distros today. So you, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get this installed. And I believe it works on a Debian or Debian based OS, and I've still got my Sparky Linux installation from a previous video installed, so I want to see if I can't install it here. And uh, let's uh, start this app. So I'm going to do a sudo apt uh, update again. Then I'm going to sudo apt install git. It's clone. Then it's change into the environment. Uh, and what it's going to do now is going to put on all of the, the dependencies uh, that's needed for Debian. I mean, should it be too much of a difference between 11 and 12? Okay, so for what felt like a completed at return at here. Uh, we've now got the dependencies and storage keys, so now we're going to do the fetch the files that it needs to clone uh, from the different uh, repos. And essentially, once it's done with this section, we'll start uh, building it. So let's uh, give it a couple of minutes here. Okay, so now it's uh, finished get grabbing all the files that it needs, so now we're going to start making it. Or building up, paste, and hit enter. And now this process might take up to 30 minutes. Because what it's going to do is it's going to build uh, the files that it needs. And then after that, it will begin uh, installing everything. So I'll come back once it's completed this portion. Okay, it looks like it's finished building. And all we need to do is log out and log back in. So, this should work. This, yes, so let's just go exit, log out. And here you've got can you step desktop. And it's logging. And here we go. Loading in Google Step Desktop Environment. And yeah, quite a couple of... Uh... There we go. It's actually very interesting. Okay, so here we have the audio settings. Here, far right and far right click. I can go info if a panel preferences. All right. Icon size. Okay. I want to see if this isn't anywhere where I can adjust the screen's resolution. Uh, so that it looks a bit better on camera. Okay, so the input focus. Uh, window placement. Menu scrolling, icon positioning, screen size, auto collapsing, uh, animations, title bar, applications, definition, app, menu definition, mouse, colors, fonts. Uh, expert user preferences. Okay, so of course this is the environment or very close to what uh, users of next step uh, would have had back in the day. So if I open that's main, and here of course we've got applications, uh, we've got FTP, default FTP app. Uh, you've got GNU Mail. Oh, look at this. 
And it's pretty cool, hey? Oh, so I'll test on for Boom. All right. Not sure Gordon does. Image viewer. Okay. Barbarian. Clear. Yeah. Preferences. Okay, so everything seems to open up anymore. Uh, log files, project center, road view, simple agenda, which are the calendar app. It does open up. So that's put it in for tomorrow. So test. You know, desktop. Okay, uh, and this actually shows it. Nice, really cool. Soon. Okay. So terminal, nice. A text editor. So I found see it loading. A maps swear browser app. Okay, so it does seem just trouble to open up some of the pre installed apps here. Um, if I right click, can I go info, workspaces, audio, display, grab in the screenshot, so if I say selection, and then We'll just select what portion it wants. It's really nice. You need to keep your finger on the mouse here. And then literally as you let go of it, it will select it. Interesting way of doing it. Run a developer. Oh, gosh. Desktop. And of course, there's my favorite test file that we did in the other desktop environment in CDE. Okay, so if I close that, we've got these at the bottom. So if we have browser, uh, we need to go uh, open or right. okay. That. Okay, if I click on here, nothing happens. Come here, if I click it, opens up the open list. I click here, this thing comes up. Okay, so not everything, of course, opens, but you will see how, depending on the app, this menu here will change. Right, okay, so I'm being silly. Well, so if I click here and I say, oh, then I have to do new window. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, in Google, not con. All right, so when I click on these, it changes this menu here, which is a completely slightly different way of doing it. This is similar to modern day Mac OS, but kind of with a bit of a twist. All right, and if I just. Okay. So if I. Double click this and I say quit, this menu will disappear. Okay. I assume this is a recycle bin or the trash bin. Can't open that because it's in the trash. And then this uh order some is still the mail client. Uh yeah, back to Google Mail. Let's check it out. Okay, what's this thing? Time on. Okay, showing the actual processes set it's running. This thing's using 817 megs of memory. This is not text edit. Still the mail. And info for recycle. Okay, fortunately that's cut off the screen. Then if I want what to launch a new app. Then I need to click there, go file, 
We can change the desk, show the desktop, uh, the viewer, quit windows, web browser, terminal, wrapper factory, open up, Google Mail. It's amazing how as much as things have changed, there is still some similarity to this day, but I must be honest with you, this would drive me, uh, this would irritate me quite a lot, uh, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but yeah, if you want to try this, why not? As always, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.